Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on a trick that you can use in any version of Toon Boom Harmony. And that's going to be a little bit of advanced uh, rigging trick I'm using. I'm using it particularly for the mouth right now for a lip sync, but you can use the same technique in other things. So what you see right here is I've got the mouth and this weird little green thing and then teeth and then this little red guy is going to be the tongue and what i'm going to end up making is this combination here just from those pieces and i can actually select the different parts of these that are on different layers And you can kind of move those around a little bit easier because they are on different layers and you can animate them a lot easier. And so you don't have to keep redrawing things. And this is just one of the tips and tricks that's in our new title that we're working on. But more about that later. Let's go back to the top and I'll show you how you can go about doing this. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and separate these and put them on their own layer. So I'll cut this and make a new drawing layer. And we'll call this upper teeth or U-P-R-T-E-E-T-H. We'll add that. I'm gonna add another layer for lower teeth. Add that. And we'll add a layer for tongue. Chewing. Am I spelling that right? Always looks weird. All right, so I'll say add and close. Now I've already copied or cut the upper teeth, so I'll go to the upper teeth layer and I'll paste Command V. And let's go back down to the beginning, grab the lower teeth, I'll Command X, cut that. And we'll paste Command V, Control V on PC. And back down to the bottom layer. Grab the tongue, Command X, go to the tongue layer, and we'll paste that. All right. Now, one last thing I want to do, let's go to the mouth layer. I'm going to grab the fill here that I did, this little crazy green color. We'll cut that, Command X, and I'm going to add one extra layer, and we'll call this mask. And I'll just say add and close, and on this layer, I'll go ahead and paste. All right, now, what I want to do is go ahead and move the mouths all the way to the top. And I'm going to basically place things in the order that I would like them to be in. So upper teeth, lower teeth, the teeth should be in front of the tongue. And the mask, I'm not worried about where it is right now. All right, so what I want to do is I'll go to the upper teeth and select that and move it to where it should be. I think I actually want to make that a little bit larger. Just kind of click and drag the areas out. All right. And let's go to the lower teeth. Looks pretty good. And again, I'm just going to stretch this out and make it a little bit larger. I'm not worried about it actually being outside of the mouth right now. And let's move our tongue. Okay. So that looks pretty decent. We have the mouth, upper teeth, lower teeth, tongue, and then we have mask. Okay, so now I'm using Harmony Essentials and I will show in a later tutorial how to do this with Harmony Premium. But what I wanna do right now is do a mask or in Toon Boom Harmony, it's referred to as a cutter. So what I wanna do, is let's say if I want to grab, if I want to place the upper teeth, the lower teeth, I'm just holding down my shift key and selecting, and the tongue. If I want to place all of those inside of a mask or a cutter, so I'm going to come over here to the little plus sign here, grab all these guys, come down and go to effects and go to cutter. It's like, huh. That's not bad, but uh, looks like it's only going to be the cutter for the upper teeth. 
Okay. So if I were doing that, let's say, and you can't even really tell what's going on here. So I'll just click this little area and I'll say, drop in the layer that's supposed to be the mask. So I'll drop in that there. Hey, and that disappeared. Hmm. Well, okay. So we'll just simply double click and we'll click on invert. Okay, that's what it's supposed to do. But the problem is, how do we get the other pieces there? Okay, so I'm gonna undo this, just do Command Z, that's Control Z on PC. All right, so we have no cutter. But what I'm gonna do now, the upper teeth, the lower teeth, and the tongue, what I wanna do is I wanna group these guys. So I'm gonna simply right click, and I'll say group selection, okay? I'm even gonna change the name of this. I'll just call this, I don't know, inner mouth, or maybe something inside. Let's, that makes some more sense. Let's call it inside. Okay, so I'll close that group. So the upper and lower teeth and the tongue are in this group. So now, with this group selected, I wanna click on the plus sign, come down to effects again, and go to cutter. Now again, you don't do this the same way in Tomb Raider Premium, but for essentials, this is how you would do it. So for the cutter, I'm gonna click this little plus sign, and it's asking me to drop in the layer for the mat. So I'll grab the mask and drop that right there. And it's doing the reverse of what we want. So I'm gonna double click right on the star here and click invert. And I'll click close. So all of a sudden we have our little mouth here. And I can still click on the different layers and move those around. Let's go to the tongue. All right, can rotate that, do all these different things. And the lower teeth. Matter of fact, let's make a little L sound or a weird sound like that. So we can shrink the tongue. And you, of course, would do this either animating it or you could do uh, different drawing substitutions when creating it. So this is one of the ways you can go in and do kind of an advanced rig. And this works in Tomb Boom Harmony Essentials, Advanced, or Premium. So you can have pretty complex rigs going on. And this is even in earlier versions of the program like 12 or 11 where you can just use the cutter effect and have multiple layers, use a group, and bring those all together. This is a small snippet of the course we're working on. We're running behind, but we are going to be finally releasing this on Monday, September 26. We have extended the discount. So if you want to grab that right now, just simply go to tonyteach.com slash lip sync. And instead of the $99 price, you can still catch it for $49. We're going to be running that until this weekend. And we're going to be showing different techniques. Uh, this is one of the techniques, uh, but showing new things that are in Tomb Boom Harmony, like synced layers, as well as how to work with Pose Copier and a few other little tricks that we do when even recording voices. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.